Hi my friends, today we model this part, a sheet metal part, and here is the drawing. The first sketch is uh, about this profile and this cut. I offer you this sketch and uh, you will uh, create uh, that uh, two contours. Be careful because this and this are on the same vertical. This point center of this line is on the same vertical with a center point and this one is on the same horizontal with the midpoint of this line. I don't create it once again since you can create it by using this uh, sketch. New sheet metal part and we go to the original, made by me of course, <laughs> and uh, we select this sketch, copy, then we apply new sketch here and paste. As I said, we place on the same horizontal this point with the center point and on the same vertical this point with the center point. Now we have a fully constrained sketch. If we take a look at the drawing we see here thickness is 2 millimeters we have to set this and we select sheet metal defaults use thickness from rule now because we want to change this to be two millimeters okay now we create a face face by using uh, this uh, sketch. Okay. We create this flange. Dimensions are 16 at 4 millimeters to the right. Remember that this is 24 and this is 28. We select this edge and we apply flange. The length of this is uh, 28. And it is not placed in the center and to have uh, this uh, default uh, width but it is placed somewhere in this uh, uh, edge and we apply four millimeters here and eight millimeters on the other end and we select some options this one and this one to respect the drawing okay next is this flange which is 13 in length and it has some uh, options to be respected 
we select this edge flange 90 degrees and 13 is the length these two are okay these two are okay okay is everything then we go to this uh, flange dimensions 14 and uh, it is placed at the end of this uh, part with a width of 15 and we take care of this 40 you see this is aligned with the other line flange this edge and we apply details once again we have this solution here is zero at the left and this is 40 minus 15 dimensions in the drawing we also modify this to keep the face aligned with this edge 8 millimeters is this dimension okay you see here that dimension of 8 millimeters because it is uh, the same with the other. This is why we apply a uh, mirror now. Mirror is here, the last feature about the mid plane. this one okay now we see here that two flanges another flange is this with dimensions 11 here and uh, 18 is uh, taken from the drawing flange edge fourteen these two are okay this is okay okay you see here 14 that uh, dimension the other flange is this one with dimensions 30 20 and uh, 5 millimeters from here this means aligned with this line we select this edge flange dimensions 22 and also this uh, four options okay now we apply some corner round this is radius 4 then this is radius 2 I don't see other ones
okay let's apply corner around this has to be corner round this one equal to the other one on four millimeters plus this with the, the value of two millimeters good last features are three holes this is one this is second this is third four millimeters diameter 2.5 2.5 position in the middle in the middle in the middle on the other direction six four and six take care where is placed face sketch point six horizontal this point with this to be aligned finish sketch hole diameter of four through the part of course okay face sketch point dimensions four millimeters and placed on the same vertical with the center point or with this midpoint finish hole 2.5 at last this we project align this one and we place a point at a distance of six from that projected line and on the same horizontal with the center point not horizontal yes not horizontal on the same vertical because we have to turn this to apply coincidence or alignment with the center point okay hole 2.5 once again okay very nice very good then let's see what is the volume i properties physical update copy close drawing double click and the new value is identical with the model initial model oh i want to eliminate this okay let's select the material steel carbon of course carbon we can compare the two and we don't see any difference 
that's all for today thanks for watching bye bye